from self-shaking kiosk to having coffee at Costa Coffee, come along with me as I share my full flight experience flying Air India's Boeing 777-300ER. Taking advantage of enough time before our flight, we'll explore Delhi's Indira Gandhi International Airport duty-free shops. And as boarding begins, we'll head to our boarding gate. I'll be sharing my full flight experience from boarding to seat features, onboard meal, hit by lightning as we approach to our destination, and finally landing safely to our final destination. I'm pretty much sure this video is going to be interesting, so make sure to watch full video and hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe and share. My journey started from Delhi's Indira Gandhi International Airport. Most of India's airport have self-check-in service, whereby we can print our boarding pass, but I think it's waste of time, as you anyway have to drop your bag, and for that, we need to pass by the check-in counter. After counter check-in and baggage drop, we had enough time to explore the airport and duty-free. I got myself a cup of Costa coffee as it was freezing cold and I had a running nose. I checked our boarding gate number on the flight information display screen before heading to the security. We then passed by the airport security and headed to our departure gate. While on our way to our departure gate, I explored Delhi's Indira Gandhi International Airport duty-free shops and the airport in general. I will share full video in my next, so make sure to hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified. I have noticed one thing about India airports that they are always busy, maybe because they have airlines that offer affordable tickets, possible.
After exploring Delhi's Indira Gandhi International Airport duty-free and the airport in general, I finally headed to my boarding gate as boarding had already started. I think I might be the last passenger to board and why not? It is time to board and explore Air India's Boeing 777-300ER and share my full review. Before we enter and start reviewing Air India's Boeing 777-300ER aircraft, let me share some quick details about the aircraft. The aircraft is 16 years old and it was delivered to Air India in the year 2008. It has a total number of 342 seats, 4 in the first class, 35 in the business and 303 in the economy. Economy class features a 3 on the left, 3 in the mid and 3 on my right seat configuration. All seats in the economy class feature an outdated entertainment screen with a USB charging port. Mine was crashed. A tray table which I can say it's dirty, broken and rusted. A pillow, the only amenity I think that was in a good condition. Earphones that were packed in Air India's new livery, I think. Seat pocket with aircraft safety instruction card and Air India's magazine. A pocket whereby you can store your water bottle. Pretty fine leg room space but dirty floors. This is the view from my window. Other seat controls such as seat reclining and the remote was on my right. I don't wish to say much but then I can't even hide the condition the seat is in. It's really terrible and look at this outdated remote control. I can say this, the seat belts were not in bad condition. Let me also tell you entertainment screens were not working, some of the entertainment screens.
Meal service started shortly after takeoff. I must say, in terms of food, it was really delicious, but then there were no drinks served. Lovely food, Air India. As we were approaching, there was lightning and thunderstorm. Everyone was asleep. Luckily, I was awake and I could capture this beautiful scene. It was scary but adventurous. And finally, we landed to our destination. Let me be very honest when sharing my overall experience. In terms of takeoff and landing, it was nice and not bad. I have flown with this type of aircraft but with a different airline carrier and let me tell you, Air India needs major refurbishing as soon as possible. This was cheap and wasted. And especially Air India which is trying to compete with major airlines, you really need to work on your airline refurbishing and airline staffs whether it's cabin crew or ground staffs they need to be professional and welcoming other than that you can see how broken the seats are dirty floors and outdated seat features are i haven't even explored or reviewed the lavatory just imagine see you in the next till then take care and goodbye